Hey guys, and welcome back to another Pokemon video. Hey, welcome back. <laughs> and today, we mm -hmm. are going to do a new thing. Whatever. Exactly. We are doing introduction to the Pokemon trading card game. So we got a number of comments on our uh, YouTube videos where people said, Hey, I don't really understand what's going on. Um, I have seen Pokemon cards, but I can't really follow along. So can you do an introduction and talk about how the game works? So we're going to do that today. Mm -hmm. And in order to do that, we uh, brought some theme decks. So these are um, packs which you can buy. It's called the uh, um, theme deck. And these are the latest one from the latest extension called Ultra Prism. Yeah. Um, and um, so there are two different ones. Um, one is called the Imperial Command, which is with this penguin dude here called Empoleon. And then there is a Max Strike, uh, which has a Garchomp as a dragon Pokemon. The good thing about these uh, packs, which you can buy, these theme decks, it comes in kind of a, a box, is that it's really good for beginners because it has all the things which you need to do to uh, play your first game. Yeah. And we're going to talk a little bit about what you need, what the different types of cards are. So um, the major cards which you need, obviously, are Pokemon. So Pokemon is a trading card game. That means that each player brings their own deck. So it's not like a regular card game where you share the deck with another player and it's always the same deck. For trading card games like Pokemon, um, you bring your own deck. So you have the choice what Pokemon you want to put in the deck and so on. The only uh, major rule is that you need to have 60 cards, right? 60 mm -hmm. cards. And um, then there are some... No, there's a major rules. rule. There's mm -hmm. also a major rule. Yeah. So there's a standard format, mm -hmm. which has a certain type of cards, and an extended format, which has like all cards, which right. you can use. And these... Um, when you buy the Steam Deck, here's the latest one, they would be standard format. So they are legal for all types of okay. play. So, so let's um, first look at what type of cards there are. There are actually, um, so if Max opens the deck here, there are three fundamental types of cards. So the first type is the Pokemon cards, obviously. Uh, these are the most important. Yeah. So let's have a look <laughs> at a basic Pokemon, okay? And they have, so let's have a look. Uh, say young goose okay so this is how it is so it says basic on it so that means you can just play it mm -hmm. right now because it's like the baby of it and it has like some attacks which like aren't so good and it doesn't have like a lot of HP so this is the HP so and the attack it says 30 so when it does 30 damage, and this has 70 HP, so say, let's get another card. Okay. So let's what, say you have... What does HP stand for? Hit points, which okay. means like the health. Okay. So say we have this Young Goose and this Soul Rock. Mm -hmm. So Young Goose can do 30 damage to a Soul Rock with this attack. But in the tiny font here, it says this attack does 10 damage to itself. So how the attack would work is it would do 30 damage. So now, so this Soul Rock has 90 HP. And since it does 30 damage, mm -hmm. 30, 90 minus 30 is 60. So um, he would have 60 HP left. Mm -hmm. And then um, if the Soul Rock attacks, say with like Solar Heat, it says 20 damage. So when it attacks the Young Goose for 20 damage, but it, the Young Goose, if you see it in the corner here, it says weak to this little can logo. I zoom in there? Yeah, here. We can zoom it in to show. Because the cards are mainly going to be mm -hmm. close up. So see with fighting sign, it looks like a fist. Mm -hmm. So with Soul Rock is that type. So that means it does double the damage. See, it's times two. So that means it does 40 damage. So weakness, it's called weakness and resistance, can be a really crucial thing. Okay, so what we pretty much learned is there are Pokemon cards, and the Pokemon cards can have different types. 
what are some types? So maybe I also draw some here so you can show what types there are. So one type is, for example, the fighting. This is called the fighting type because it has like the fist on it. Mm -hmm. And this is um, like a normal type. It has the weird star thing on it and mm -hmm. it's just white. Like the whole card is white. Mm -hmm. And see, this one is like orange. Mm -hmm. And then there's one, um, let me take a good example. Um, there's, this is a psychic type because it has like the eye on it. That means psychic. Okay. And let's see. Here are some other types from another deck. So this is a water type since it has like an aqua sign. Mm -hmm. so can we do that deck too? I don't want to get the decks mixed up. Yeah, good idea. And um, then there are also grass types, the different types. Yeah, and the and there's also like a dragon type, mm -hmm. which is like more rare. So this one says stage two. So what does that mean? So um, so Pokemon has different stages. Like mm -hmm. I said, with the young goose here, I'll use him as a good example. He is a basic, so that means he's like a young baby. Right. So they're typically weak. They have less hit points and they have also less attack strength. Yeah, and usually they have also less attacks in general, like mm -hmm. types of attack. So let me find, since this young goose guy evolves mm -hmm. into this. So see, now it, as you can see, here I'll compare them. The youngers can evolve into gumshoes. And how you know is in this little corner it shows a young goose and it says evolves from young goose. Yeah. So it says evolves from young goose and this is young goose. Mm -hmm. and so as you can see it has stronger attacks and more hit points. Instead of 70, it got 40 more. Mm -hmm. So um the soul rock would probably be this young goose up because if like the young goose attacks to do 30 damage then the soul rock does 40 since weakness and then he does 30 again which means it does 60 attack damage because like 30 times 2 is 60 and then this guy can attack again as you can see like it this guy seems stronger because like of the HP but if this guy evolves into a gumshoes, he's way stronger because his attacks get way stronger. Like, instead of a 30 damage attack, it can do 70 damage. And then it has um, also some more HP and it's stronger in general. Mm -hmm. But the catch is that you have to play with down, which is called on a bench, which is like where your Pokemon sit to rest. So you like play it on the bench and then you can place this card over it so it evolves into it. Mm -hmm. So you have to have this to evolve into a gumshoe. Right. Okay. So maybe let's put so this up here and put this gumshoe here on the wall so we can remember it. The gumshoes and the young goose. Yeah, so that's the that's I explained the attacks, the HP and the evolving. Okay. So let's look. So that was one type of card, the Pokemon cards. The second most important card type is the energy card. So the energy is, as you can see, this is an energy. It says energy on the side. Mm -hmm. you need, you need a little bit back, otherwise light. Yeah, let me get better lighting here. Oh, it's a card just for some. So it says energy here. Mm -hmm. And... This is how it works. So you see the youngest, it says takedown, and it has two um, of these here. Actually, I'll use this soul rock as an example. So, so um, it says soul or heat, so it has this one punching sign. Mm -hmm. See, like it's type. So, this, if you attach it to it, if you just like place it on it then it can use the attack. But without the energy, since then it has no energy, then it can't attack. And since it says this, that means you have to attach a fighting energy. Like, mm -hmm. 
you cannot attach a water energy because it shows the fighting thing. Like, this you can't do to attack this because um, it's a fighting type, so it doesn't really make sense to attach a water energy to it. So for each type, there is also an energy type which you use. Yeah, except mm -hmm. for normal types, which I showed, the scumptious, like let's say you have um, two energies, and you have the gumshoes, you can attach them both and attack. Because when this attack shows a star energy on it, that means you can use any energy mm -hmm. to put it on to attack. So see, this has a double draw attack with a star. You can even attach a water energy like I showed to use the attack. So all those attacks are very useful. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, the stronger the attack, the more energy it requires. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the lower the, the, lower the um, energy, the worse. Okay, so let's put those guys maybe back on the wall so we can see the Pokemon and then the energy cards. So then there is a third type. So there are three types of cards. So Pokemon need energy, but they need also help. And therefore, they are trainer cards. Trainer cards are cards which can help Pokemons be stronger, can help find Pokemons. Um, there are different types of trainer cards. Um, let's start with one type of trainer card, which is called a draw supporter, or in general, supporter trainer cards. So let's have a look at a supporter trainer so card. So like every supporter trainer card, it has like a kind of a character of a person on it. Mm -hmm. And as you can see in the corner, let me just get that. It says you may only play one supporter card during your turn. And same goes with the energy. So you can only attach one each turn to its Pokemon. And the supporter card, you can also only use one. And it says draw free cards. So you have like a deck of 60 cards and then you can draw free from the deck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so one type of supporter is the draw supporter. That's probably the most important supporter because it helps you to draw more cards, which then could be Pokemon, energy, or more supporter cards. So you definitely want to have always draw supporters. Let's see some other supporter cards. Let's see if I find some in this deck. Um, what about this card here? This is another supporter card called Pokemon Fan Club. So this, it says, search your deck for two basic Pokemon. Reveal them and put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. So you have a deck which has all your cards which you want in them. And you can, and each turn which you have, you can, you draw one card. And this says, so you can search your deck for any of basic Pokemon. So you can search for this, since it says basic, and this, but you cannot search for the gumshoe since, like I said, it was a stage one. That's right. <laughs> this one says it's like this one, but it says from the bottom of your deck. So every supporter card is different. Right. So then another type of trainer card are item cards. So yeah. let's have a look at an item. Item cards are like basically objects. Mm -hmm. So. So as you can see, when you get a theme deck, it comes with all these types of cards and it comes in a good combination, which allows you to play actually against another person. So it has you know, a good amount of Pokemons, it has the energy, and then it has the different um, trainer cards, um, which all work together and then make up 60 cards in total. Okay, let's have a look at some examples of item cards. Okay, so... So the first one is, so it's like an object. It's an escape rope. So the so it says switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. So that means, so you have, this is how it works. So you have one Pokemon in the active, which is like this, and all the rest are sitting on the bench. Mm -hmm. And so you can like prepare them, like attach energy to them to get ready. And... Um, yeah, so, um, 
yeah, so this one says each player switches their active Pokemon. So your opponent has the exact same thing as you to make it fair. So it says you can each switch your Pokemon. But the cool card about item cards is in this blue thing, you may not see it, but it says you may play as many item cards as you want during your turn. So you can just like say, hey, I play mm -hmm. this, hey, I play that, hey. You can like just do any right. as much as you want. So that's the difference between item and supporter card. Supporter card, you can only play one each turn. Item, you can play as many as you want. Yeah, but items aren't as good as supporter cards. Like each one of them isn't as good as a support mm -hmm. card. So here's one where it says flip two coins. So you know what a coin is, like it's heads or tails. For each head, search your deck for an evolution Pokemon and put it into your hand. So that's, so this is a basic, so you cannot search for it. But the gum shoes, is a stage one, so you can search for it. So that's cool. So one thing you will see in the Pokemon trading card game, uh, some decisions are um, decided by random. So you need some type of randomizer. In this case, um, you can typically use a coin and do a coin flip. That means you have a 50-50 chance that the thing works or doesn't work. So you flip it, and then if you have heads, um, in this card, you can get uh, evolved Pokemon. If not, you can't get it. What most players, however, do if you see some tournaments or if you go to some League Cups or a general League play, is you can also just use a, a dice. Yeah, and I recommend using um, a dice. As a randomizer. So yeah. how does it work with a dice? So a dice, if you flip an even number, it's had so six, um, let's see, six, two, four, that would be heads. Yeah, and then tails is five, one. This is one. It's just like mm -hmm. a logo. And um, three. three. Right. So, yeah. So, typically, you would use most of yeah. the time just the dice. And the reason it, why, the, yeah, it's one, it's easier. And also with the coin, it's easy to cheat with a coin. Like, mm -hmm. you can just fake flip it. Or it's like not as accurate. Mm -hmm. So sometimes, usually, like you flip it and then it just flips once. So the dice is, I would, I definitely recommend the dice. And if you play like with other people or in like mini tournaments, they um, advise you to use dice because coins, you, you, it's like, oh, like it's too risky, kind mm -hmm. of. Okay, what <laughs> other item cards do we have? Maybe we use one more example here. The, this is another item card. So this is an aqua patch. I'll let you say it this time. Okay, so this is an item card which helps you to accelerate energy. So what you hear in Pokemon, as you already know, you a lot of times you need energy and sometimes a lot of energy to attack. Uh, to attack. Uh, and um, so therefore there are item cards and supporter cards which accelerate energy. Aqua patch is an example. This card says attach a water energy card from your discard pile to... Um, to one of your benched Pokemon and only to your benched water Pokemon. So if you have discarded some uh, water energy, you can bring it back and attach it to a Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Because as you know, during one turn, as we mentioned, you can only attach one energy to a Pokemon. But if you play this item card, now suddenly you can attach two. One with your regular attachment and then one because you played that item card. So it gives you faster energy. Okay. And then there is a third type of trainer card, so-called the stadium card. No, no, what? stop. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Dad, Dad you are now a noob. Okay. <laughs> so we have also tool cards. Right. So tool cards you can attach to Pokemon. That's right. And they have like special effects on it. So you can attach it to one of your Pokemon, and it's also an item card. So that means you can play as many as them of you as you want. So you can attach it to Soul Rock, mm -hmm. anything. You can attach a tool to anything. So you can only though attach one tool for each Pokemon. That's right. And this one says the retreat cost of your Pokemon. This is a card. To is 
two less. And it can retreat even if it's asleep or paralyzed. So you're like, what does retreat mean? So what says the retreat cost? See, it says one of a star energy. That means it costs one of any energy. And how retreating works is like, say, with Pokemon's in the active and it's weak from fighting your opponents, you can um, take one energy off it and then switch it with one of your healthy bench Pokemon. Mm -hmm. So it's a good way... Um, of returning your Pokemon. So it says it's one less. So say you attach it to a Soul Rock and then you put it in the active, then since it's one less and it only costs one the retreat, then it costs nothing. Mm -hmm. So you can just retreat free it for retreat. free. That's yeah. really good. Yeah. Because the Soul Rock hops on this skateboard and skates away. Yeah. So <laughs> the drunk Soul Rock. Okay. <laughs> okay. But now there is one more type of trainer card. It's which is called, called a stadium, stadium card. card. So I have an example here. Maybe you show it in the camera. So stadium cards, you can only play um, one per turn, I'm pretty sure. And um, and you and the, how a stadium card works is is basically. Um, so it's it has a stat effect on it, and that effect goes to both players, and it stays on forever mm -hmm. until um another player plays a stadium. Then they can knock out the other stadium, and and that stadium use mm -hmm. that stadium's effect. Yeah. So the idea is right. The Pokemon battles are typically in a stadium, and sometimes stadium can be special. Yeah. And if there are special stadiums, they might affect how the Pokemon can fight. And that's the stadium card. So in this case, let's see this stadium card again. Um, this stadium card allows player may discard a fire or fighting energy. And if they do so, they can draw two cards. So let's say you don't really have any good cards and you want to get some more cards. You can just discard an energy as long as it's fire or fighting. And then you can... Uh, draw two more cards from your deck. Yeah, so, so you cannot discard a water energy. You can only discard this energy. Mm -hmm. And then you can draw two cards from your deck. So it's pretty cool. And you can only do that, though, once... Um, only once each turn. But you can do that as much times as you want. Unlike supporter cards, you can only use it once. And mm -hmm. then what happens is it goes into a discard pile. which And that also happens with item cards. That's right. Okay, I'm and that... I need to get a drink. I'm getting thirsty for a lot of time. I'll be back. You can talk until the meantime. Okay. Uh. So to recap, we have uh, three types of cards. So we have... Um, let's start here with a Pokemon card, right? Um, Pokemons can have different he uh, hit points. So this has 70 hit points. That means how strong it is. They have different attacks. You see this Pokemon has two attacks. Attacks require energy. So let's get an energy here. Um, for example, the first attack here with a little star means it can have needs one energy but can, can be any energy. And um, the second one means uh, it needs two energies. Um, attacks do damage. Um, so this attack does to your opponent 30 damage which get deducted from the hit points. Um, but attacks can have also effects so in this case, the effect is that uh, this Pokemon does 10 damage to itself. Um, so we talked about Pokemon and energies, and then we talked about all the different trainer cards, supporter cards, item cards, and uh, stadium cards, I'm which back. you can use. All right. And Cruiser is back too. What's okay, going on? Yeah. Okay. So... To uh, conclude the video, I, we should talk a little bit more about some other things which you might want to have uh, when you start uh, playing okay. the Pokemon trading card game. Yeah. Okay, so maybe to uh, conclude the video, we talk about some other things which you might need when you play the game. Oh, oh. and there's not just one stage of cards. There's okay. also sometimes cards... Let me drop them down. Which have mm -hmm. two stages. Right. And they get e 
even stronger. See, it has 150 oh HP. And it has super strong attacks. That's correct. So, um, a couple of things uh, which you might want to know. Yeah. A, how do you buy the card? So, as mentioned, you might want to first buy a theme deck, which has yeah. already the right yeah. amount oh, yeah. of cards which you oh. need. But maybe you want to have some other cards. Oh, and that's so. where the... So, text come in. So, um, usually if you can't find the theme deck about in like every store, like Walgreens, you can get like these packs and you know those like shiny cards which you pull, which we pulled if you saw and you're like, what is that? Well, those you can get in these packs if mm -hmm. you're lucky is the thing. Fine. So you can buy theme decks, you can buy just a single packs. You can buy boxes of decks, there are all kinds of uh, things, there are special boxes which have special cards or many different things. So as we already mentioned, the other things I have here, typically we have like a little bag with stuff which you need to play. Um, so you need dice. Yeah. Right? And also... There are big dice and then small ones. Because one thing, how do you keep track, let's say this guy got hit and now got 30 damage, right? How do you remember that now his hit points is not 90 anymore, but 30? So say if he like mm -hmm. got 30 damage on him, then you put a free on the dice on him. Right. So you just, for each damage, you just cross out the zero at the end. Exactly. So if you have like 80 damage on, see, see, so you have a six, then you just add a number of dice. So you do six. Oh, it's not gonna come. Oh yeah. You do six and two. That's correct. So you need definitely a bunch of dice uh, because you use them to roll, but also as damage counters. Um, then there are a couple of other things which you need, which we come maybe to next time. Pokemons can have special conditions. They can get like sick and stuff or fall asleep. Um, but um, maybe we leave that for the next episode. So one thing, you. You, one thing, one last thing maybe, which um, you might want to consider after you play a little bit more, are sleeves. So what's a sleeve? A sleeve obviously is, I'm opening this box here, um, it's just a transparent sleeve. So you put your cards in there. That makes them much easier to play and also they don't get dirty or bent and so on. Um, and then yeah. you put so, all your cards in like so, a nice um, little sleeve. So you, if you get like a special card like we did, like with super shiny cards, then you can put them in the sleeve so I stay in good condition. And if you put them in your sleeve and later on you just want to sell the card, if you leave in the sleeve and like play with it open, then it'll be way more expensive since it's in better condition. That's right. Yeah. So anything else to add? No, nope, let's open the pack. Should okay. we give the code? All right, let's yeah. give it a try. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is a little bit older pack. This is Sun and Moon, so a couple of generations ago, but still uh, legal for standard yeah, play. Yeah, and there will be cards in it. There will okay. be like some of these Pokemon. And there will be one strong Pokemon, like this one. Okay. Like there will be a one. And here you can see the rarities. If you look at the bottom left corner. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Zoom it in. There's yeah. a star on it. That yeah. means it's rare. Yeah. And if it has a square on it, it means it's uncommon. And if it has oh, just a little circle on it, that means it's common. Mm -hmm. So there's usually in this in like these types of packs, there's one rare one. There are um, three uncommon ones, and I'm pretty sure there's five commons or six i'm not sure all right so let's, let's open the the packs also always have a certain order how the cards are in there so yeah there's always an uh, energy which you get yeah well that's in the new packs yeah so in older packs if you find them they don't have any energy so you have an energy, mm -hmm. and then he, see, this is a trainer card. Yeah. So it's a potion, so you can heal 30 damage. So if your Pokemon gets injured, then you can play this card down and heal it. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got a Hypno. So see, it's a stage one. It's mm -hmm. that, see, it's an uncommon. Mm -hmm. So it's stronger, so it's a evolved version of this guy. Mm -hmm. 
And it's a psychic time. Yeah, and it's a psychic, and it needs psychic energy. So you have a switch. Oh, that's so, a trainer card. Yeah, an that's an card. item. And then we have this chinku. So this is an electric type. Mm -hmm. So there's electric energy too. And it's weak to fighting like the young goose. Mm -hmm. So we have a parasy. This is a grass type. Mm -hmm. So it's weak to fire. Cool. And then we have a polywag, which is a water type. And it's weak to grass. Mm -hmm. So this so this guy beats this guy. But this guy beats the thing he's weak to. Yeah, and then we have a dew pider. So we throw comments. We have an Eevee. Mm -hmm. Oh, and here's one. So Pokemon can also have abilities. Right, we didn't talk about abilities. So abilities are automatic on the Pokemon, which give you like big advantages mm -hmm. and stuff. So we'll talk about that in a little right. later. So like in this case. This Pokemon has the ability to evolve right on your first turn yeah. and you can just search for the evolution. Typically, um, you can only evolve it, in the like from your hand. on your second turn and you need to have the Pokemon in hand and you can only evolve once. Yeah. This Pokemon, Eevee, can evolve much quicker. Yeah. So we have... And what's this new... shiny? What's that called? So that's called a reverse holo. So I put like a shiny paper mm. on it. There's always one in every pack yeah. which you get. It, so it's like cool. And we have a Primarina. So this is the rare one. See, it has a star. Yeah. And it's a stage two. So mm -hmm. it's like the Garchomp. See, it has strong attacks. It can do 100 damage. Mm -hmm. And for two energy, it can do 30 damage. And there's like, it can put a special condition on your. Great. And okay. then we have a code card. And for you. Only for the noobs can read on this card. So there's an online Pokemon game, mm -hmm. which you can definitely download. And you can scan in codes from packs. So please, if you got this code, leave a like, subscribe. Make sure mm -hmm. you hit the notification so you can get even more codes. You have also a Pokemon account on Twitter. Yep. It's called uh, mm. Pokemon TCG Ninja. Yeah, my dad goes on it. Mm -hmm. And I'm also streaming on Twitch. Pokemon so, yeah. TCG. So, definitely yeah. um, visit my dad on Twitch. And I might be streaming in a little bit, like Subnautica, Farmcraft. I'm not sure. But here's the code. And, yeah, make sure to we hit the bell icon so you know, like, so you can make some code money. So, like... Each time the video comes up, it rings. So when you can go on it and then find the code. Because, mm -hmm. like, each Pokemon if you subscribe, pack. Yeah. yeah, if you subscribe, though. Because, um, yeah, and then you can get more codes more often. So, yeah. All right. So um, I think this concludes this episode. In the next episode, we will actually play a game. For that, we will switch over. We will use the online version so you can follow along. And we're going to do a first game and explain how actually the game rules work. Now you know what all the cards are, but how do you actually win a game? So we're going to do that, and uh, that will be next time. Bye! Bye, thanks for joining.